Welcome back Pez Collectors! It's after Christmas now so I thought why not share my Pez Christmas haul with you. I didn't get a lot of Pez for Christmas but I did get some really 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 nice Pez for Christmas. <laughs> some stuff that I've been wanting for quite some time and since Greg my husband he likes to spoil me with Pez for presents and my birthday is five days before Christmas so I got lots of Pez presents for my birthday and then Christmas he likes to buy Pez. <laughs> <laughs> so he bought me some really really cool Pez here and I have them sitting here in front of me so I can't wait to share them with you on the channel here and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to share them with you so let's get started. <laughs> the first one here is on a card and you don't see these too often but check this out. It's a pony Pez. People also call these pony go rounds, but this one actually has the new sticker on there. So it says new dispenser, which I think is really, really cool. It's on the red card. This one does look like maybe it's set in a window or sometimes these bubbles just fade over time with lights and stuff, or they just get, they just get old. I don't know, just different environments. Sometimes these bubbles don't hold up on these cards. So it does look a little yellow, but it's still super cool. I think the peasant side is even faded a little bit because uh, the stem looks a little bit more teal. It seems like whenever pet dispensers are blue, like their stems or their heads, and you see them and they turn kind of teal color, that's from the light. So it looks a little faded, but I think this is super cool because the card is actually super minty on this. So it's totally worth having a little bit of a faded Pez, a little bit of a yellow card since the card is so nice, I think. It does have the two packs of Pez candy down there. And there you go, there's the back. The back there says, Peter Pez says, it's fun to fill Pez, puppets with delicious Pez candy. I love it. A treat to eat and a puppet that's neat. Pez doesn't use those sayings anymore. That'd be kind of fun to bring that back. I don't know, it's pretty cool. I think this was a really fun start for my Pez Christmas presents. <laughs> So Pony Pez, they were first released back in 1970, so that gives you an idea of how old this card could be. It's pretty old. It's probably older than me. <laughs> but uh, I like it a lot. It's gonna look really great set up on my Pez shelf because even though these Pez are a little bit, you know, newer, like from the 70s, they're not like from the 60s or 60s, they're still harder to find on their cards, especially in this nice of a condition. I like it a lot. And then, there's a Pez here in this little baggie. I need to open it up. I haven't opened this up yet because I don't really want to touch it. And I usually get these little clear boxes, which I'll show you. I don't have... Do I not have any of the boxes? I've shown them here on the channel before. I have a pony over here in a box, but it's not the same box. But the place I usually buy my boxes from, they're all sold out. So I need to wait until they restock them. Then I can take this out and put it in the little box. But here's another pony in the cello this time. So this was another one of my Christmas presents. This one has the orange head, blue hair, and a green stem. And this one has their teal eyes. They're not blue and they're not green. They're like in the middle. They're more of a green color. And let me look. Yeah, they're like a teal color. So they don't match the stem exactly. They don't match the mane exactly. But I think this is so nice and it's so clean and crisp in there and the cello is actually really nice condition. This one has strawberry Pez candy in it which is really nice. I don't like touching those. You hear it crinkling. <laughs> and then on the back here it's a special bonus offer. So that's a little insert that's in there. This is super nice. Like it's in really nice condition. I love the old cellos and old carded Pez on these vintage Pez. Cause you know no one's taken these Pez out and played with them. They're usually super minty. I think it's really nice. Especially cause like if something were to happen to the cello and it were to, you know, come out of a package, you'd have just a really nice minty Pez. That just looks so clean. <laughs> and the really awesome Pez pony present I got from Greg, this pony Pez has the pink head, green hair, and a red stem and this one has blue eyes which I think are more rare to find but I've been wanting a pony Pez with the pink head for quite some time now. There's just something about pink Pez plastic like these vintage ones that I just like so much. It's just like such a pretty pink color and I like how it's like pink and green and red. It's like weird color combination but somehow it just looks so good. Oh it's so nice. This one is actually like super minty too and the sleeve there 
it's yellow and so look at that just adds to the coolness of this pony i like it a lot <laughs> I do like my little black and yellow duck with flower that I got for my birthday. But for a Pez with a little bit more color, I think this might be my new favorite. It's so cool. <laughs> I can't believe Greg actually found like these Pez for sale because sometimes it's hard to find you know like the vintage Pez on cards or in cello or even like these more rare ones that you know like pink colored ponies. I mean that's this is pretty hard to find so I think it's pretty cool that he actually found these to buy them for me. I thought that was really cool. Something special I'll, I'll always remember too. Put the pony there. But since I did get a lot of ponies for Christmas, a lot, I guess three ponies for Christmas, <laughs> there was a theme there. I thought why not grab my other pony pez that I have and I'll bring them up and I'll share them here on this video because I think that'll be a lot of fun. So let me show you my other pony pez because there's actually quite a lot of color combinations on these pony pez and I do not have them all. But maybe someday I will. But for now, I just have a lot of really cool ones I'm going to share with you here in a second. <laughs> this one here, this one's in a little box. It's kind of like the box I was talking about, This, but this is not the same boxes that I get. This one's... <laughs> almost slid right out. This one actually has like, uh-oh, a little piece of the cello came out of the box. This one's not in the best condition. It does have some holes. But uh, there you go. This is another Pony Pez. This one has two packs of candy in it, which is really interesting. The one I just showed you before only has the one pack of candy in it. And then they also have different inserts, but they are different colors. Even the manes on them are a little bit different. The head color, the orange, is pretty similar. And this one has a lighter blue eye. Let me look at it up close. Yeah, like the eye, it's like a lighter teal color. It's not as like green as the one in this package with the green stem. But look, at, check out the insert on the back here. It says Pez Candy, exciting gift offers inside. There you go. So this is super cool. This one does have like a little hole at the top here. So I'm just being real careful with it. I'm gonna put it back in the little box. I think Greg might have, I think Greg bought this one on eBay. Sometimes you just get what you get when you buy peasant cellos or on cards or whatever, you kind of just have to, if you want it in a cello, you kind of buy it and then maybe eventually you'll find a better cello down the road. But the fact that Greg actually found like this nice of a cello to buy, that's pretty amazing. This thing looks like it just came off the Pez factory. <laughs> I don't know, it's so cool. Oh, I did get something else besides ponies. I'll show it to you uh, here after I show you all the ponies, but I thought make all this section of the video Pony Pez. Since I showed you some with the blue mane and the blue stem, you can get a better idea. Like, this is, has a darker blue mane. Some of the blues are like a little lighter. I don't know if they just fade over time or if they're just... I don't know, they just look slightly different. I think just sometimes the old Pez plastic doesn't match up either. But uh, this is like a darker blue mane color. These eyes are really green on this one. Even the eye colors just differ so much. So that's another pony I have. I have a, quite a few ponies here, so... <laughs> There's another pony. This one has blue hair, but it's this different blue. It has the same orange colored head. This time you'll notice that the bridle on it is red. It has a blue stem, but it's more blue than this last one. There you go. There's a side-by-side -side comparison of those two ponies. Since they're both blue and orange, I thought that might be neat to see them side-by-side. -side. I really like this one. It's like a light brown head, kind of a caramel color. And it's got the red bridle this time, just like the last one. This time it has the white mane. It has black eyes and it's on a red stem. I like this one a lot. This one looks more like a realistic color pony. Even though I don't know if ponies have white hair, they might have just like black hair. I'm not a pony expert in real life, so I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it's just like you don't ever see ponies with blue hair or green hair. I guess these are supposed to be more like carousel ponies. That's why they're called pony go rounds. I also have this one. This one's a little faded, but I still like it a lot. We bought this from that big auction a few months ago. If you've been following my channel, you'll know what auction I'm talking about. But the hair is a little faded. It's supposed to be white. It looks a little yellowed. And the stem doesn't look too bad, but when you look at it under the light, you can see like some faded sections on it. Like maybe it sat near a window and it had like light coming in. I don't know. All the Pez mostly were super minty from 
that Pets auction, but this one you couldn't tell in the pictures when we bought it. But I still kind of like it a lot because because <laughs> the inside sleeve is yellow. So this one has the blue head, which you haven't seen yet, and then a white mane, the red bridle, and the yellow stem. It just looks so good. This used to be my second favorite, I think, pony, but now I have this pink one. <laughs> so it might be like my third, because I think I really like this like light brown one a lot. In the meantime, we did pick up this blue-headed pony with the red bridle and the white hair and the yellow stem. But this one is not faded. It's really bright colors. But the only thing is that the sleeve on the inside is just like the regular like off-white color. So this one here, I think with the yellow sleeve, that's super cool. Like super, super cool. I wish this one was in a little bit better condition, but it still displays really nice on the shelf. Unless you look at it really close, most people probably wouldn't even notice that it is faded, especially if you just look at it from the front there. I mean, I know because I look at so many of these vintage pads, it's pretty easy to spot like if something's faded, I think. <laughs> but uh, this one is super minty. I think we bought this one to replace that one, but I still have it. <laughs> I probably should sell this one. But the fact that it has that yellow sleeve, I just like it so much. Maybe someday I might have to let this one go, especially if I get more ponies. I think eventually I'd like to get a few more pony colors. There are a couple other pony colors that I would really like to get, like some purple colors and there's a lavender one. Maybe someday I'll have those in my collection, but for now, I mean, this is like more ponies than I could ever imagine me even owning. <laughs> Let's just move these ponies. I was gonna move everything down and center all this, but I did get one more really, 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 really cool thing for Christmas, like super cool. Let me get it. Oh, I mean, check this out. I think this is super nice. <laughs> I did pick this out and Greg was asking me what I wanted for Christmas and I sent him the link. This was on uh, eBay for a while. He bought it from uh, David Welch and uh, I was super happy to get this. He did buy the frame and he also bought another frame so he could get a mat for it, which I think looks really, really nice in this frame. I like it so much. I don't have a lot of information about this, but Welch's listing on eBay did say that it was a store display from Brazil, which I think is really cool because obviously I can't read it. It's not in English. I should translate it. It'd be really cool to know what it says. But my favorite part about it is that it's like mostly orange, but it has these really nice Pez on it and it's pretty close. Maybe I need to get the Pez, the pony in this picture now. So on this Pez poster, you'll see there's a pony which matches the theme. Awesome, right? And then there's an FEB, that's the fat ear bunny. And then there's the yappy dog. And then there's the chick with egg and that one has a hat. I do have a chicken egg and an FEB video from Easter of last year. So if you want to see all those Pez that I have, you might want to check out those two videos. I'll link them down below in the description or you can just search FEB or chicken egg on my channel here and you'll find those videos. But these are some of my favorite like vintage Pez. They're super cute. I like the cute Pez. That's my thing. <laughs> if you haven't noticed here by now by watching my videos. I'm sure it says like Pez mascot. Maybe I should just get out Google Translate real quick. So I took a photo of it, I put it in the Google Translate. On this line here, on this top line, it says, take them home. And then it says, pets. I don't know, is that pets, mascotes? And then Pez. On the bottom here, this line, it says, and the delicious tablets that dissolve in the Boca, B-O-C-A. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh wait, it says dissolved in, Boca. What the heck? It like didn't translate Boca. B-O-C-A. This top one here is mint. That's strawberry. Of course. Wait. That's orange? What? It looks like lime, but it, this says it's orange. And then this says it's magnet. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if this is translating right. Mm -hmm. Magnet flavor. I would think this one's lime and that one's orange. I feel like the Google Translate is a little messed up. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. We're just gonna go with that. <laughs> I did see this in someone's Pez collection and I saw it pop up on eBay one day 
and uh, I never bought it because it's kind of expensive, but I was like, this would make a good present for Christmas. So I'm so glad Greg bought it for me. Now I need to figure out where I'm going to hang it up. I'm going to probably hang it in my office, but uh, I need to figure out what spot because I think something else is going to come down. <laughs> I'm going to hang this up in there because I like it like a lot. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed my Pez Christmas haul video. If you've got some Pez for Christmas, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. It's not all about my Pez collection and I like to hear from you guys and you know, here or you can send me photos of what Pez you got as well. I like hearing from you. I am Erin Collects Pez over on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok if you want to send me any messages over there. I'd love to talk to you even more. And uh, as always, I guess thanks for watching and I'll see you for the live stream on Saturday. But this Saturday, the live stream is probably going to start an hour later. I'm taking Roxy to a puppy class <laughs> to try it out. So it starts at nine and it goes to 10. So I should be back. So we're going to start the live stream and we're going to go from 11 to, you know, whatever we end. Probably, you know, one and a half, two hours usually is how long the live stream goes for. So if you want to join us for the Peasant Coffee live stream, it'll start at 11 here still on YouTube. And I don't know if it'll be like that for the next few weeks, but at least for this coming Saturday, it will be starting at 11. So if you come early, you can just hang out and talk with each other on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, you know, hopefully you watch this video and you see that we're going to start it an hour later. At least for this coming up Saturday for sure. But the live stream is always so much fun. I can't just, like, cancel it and go to puppy class. I have to just move it back an hour because I really look forward to hanging out with you guys on the live stream every week. It's so much fun. And I'm sure we have some other Pez we're going to be sharing with you that we got during the week as well. So stay tuned for that. But besides just unboxing Pez here, on the live stream we also talk about like you know new stuff in Pez or just anything we want to talk about about Pez. I mean it is the Pez live stream. So if there's anything you want to see in my collection you know let me know as well. I like to share it with you on the live stream as well. So as always just watch it and I'll see you Saturday on the live stream. <laughs> Bye! I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from nowhere